Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Supergirl. Today we're going to be talking about some interesting pieces of news that have come out in regards to the way that Supergirl ended. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this information is coming from a convention actually in England. Fun fact, I was supposed to be at this event. I booked my ticket like two, three years ago before the pandemic started and the event initially got cancelled. It got pushed back like year after year and finally it's happening now. However, I forgot to go to the event because it's been such a long time. However, that is the event that we're going to be talking about today. That is the Ultimates in Birmingham. It's a great event. I love it. I met lots of you guys there before in the past. I've been there twice and it's an awesome event. And so the information that I'm talking about today is coming from a Supergirl panel that they did just yesterday. This has been verified by a couple of people who have attended the panels actually in Birmingham. And the reason why there isn't any video currently out there is it's very restrictive as to videoing. Like people will take photos and there has been photos that have been released online about this panel. Basically you see some of the OG cast members from the show like Asi Tess Faye, also Nicole Maines and also Jesse Raff at the panel. I'll leave a link to the source actually that I'm talking about in the description below. So the reason that I bring up the convention and what happened at this panel is they were actually talking about the ending of Supergirl because I believe this is one of the first times that some of the cast members of Supergirl have reunited and actually gone to a convention since it's ending in November, so you had Jesse Raff, Nicole Mays, and Azzy Tesfaye there. So that alone is very exciting, but what they had to say was really interesting because it kind of reshapes our idea of the way that Supergirl ended. And it did end on its own terms. It didn't get cancelled like Batwoman or Legends of Tomorrow. That's not what we're talking about in this video because it's just some of the comments that they said as to what led to Supergirl ending. Okay, so coming from Derp Swan on Twitter, they revealed that Jesse Raff revealed at the panel that Melissa didn't want to do the show anymore. And they go on to explain that apparently they were also burnt out and exhausted by the amount of work hours that they did. And apparently they worked 12 months of the year despite them supposed to be only working nine months basically that means they were in Vancouver all the time and they were on work mode the whole time that means basically they had you know a couple of breaks here and there but they never had like a full week off or something like that apparently the last season of filming they worked very intense apparently without that day off so they combined apparently season six and season seven plans into just season six and ended it there instead of having a season 7 as planned. So this is big news that apparently, coming from the Ultimates Crisis Comic Con, they were originally supposed to have a Supergirl season 7, but they changed that due to cast fatigue and decided to merge it with season 6 and that's why it's 20 episodes, because they wanted to end it properly and have this big story that they had planned out, but Melissa actually didn't want to do another season because obviously she had a kid and everything and it was very exhausting and so the idea initially was to renew Supergirl for season 7 according to you know the actors at the panel but because Melissa didn't want to continue that's why they decided to merge their plans for both seasons into just one final season for season 6 and so apparently initially season 6 was going to be 13 episodes long and if you know comparatively to the rest of Supergirl and the Arrowverse, that's a very short season. They normally do that with like a Legends type show, you know, that is inherently shorter. But Supergirl is normally on the longer side, along with like The Flash and all those other shows like Arrow in the past. And so having 13 episodes is quite a big cut down. So I'm surprised actually to hear that they plan to have like a season 6 that would have been shorter and then have a season 7. But I guess... That gives the cast maybe some more time off and then it also gives, you know, more time to have Supergirl on the air relatively compared to like if you have one final season, that's it, it's done and you can't kind of reap the rewards of, you know, the show anymore because it's officially done, there's going to be no more episodes that come out. So I understand wanting to do another season and maybe split into, you know, a season six and a season seven and apparently season seven, if it would have happened, 
it would have been 10 episodes long. So that would have been three more episodes than what we got because in season six we got 20 episodes and apparently according to the sources from this panel, there would have been 23 episodes total between season six and season seven, that being 13 episodes for season six of Supergirl and 10 episodes for season seven of Supergirl. So this is all very interesting and comes as a big revelation because I didn't realize you know exactly how much to do with you know the idea of bringing back Supergirl for a season 7 went on behind the scenes obviously we can infer that there were conversations with you know the showrunners Melissa and you know all the other people who are running the show but it's interesting to think that you know it was kind of Melissa who was the one being like okay we're all very tired why not let's just end it with a season 6 and it turned out season 6 was a pretty long season for them to film because they did many, many months, apparently even overextending past their normal CW nine month kind of window that they have to shoot every year for a whole season. So yeah, it seems that they went a long time without days off and everyone was very fatigued. And I understand it, like I literally work on films and that's the reason why later this week, I'm not doing all the videos, I'm getting some help from my friend. I'm just shooting for two weeks and I'm already pretty fatigued so I understand having to shoot 9 or 10 or 11 or even 12 months that's such a long time that's an entire year and imagine having no days off like just imagine it in the context of your own job or say you're at school right no matter where you guys are right now I think it's all pretty relatable that having such a long time to work and have no time off that is very exhausting. Even if you just have like the weekend, that's still a lot. Five days, flat out, over 12 hours of filming every day. That is a very, very exhausting job. So I understand it and I fully back them for wanting to end the show. Like I think they did a great job with the way that Supergirl ended. I thought it really kind of lived up to the legacy of the show. And although I'm sad as a fan, I understand that it's tiring and that after so many years you would want to end the show and that is totally understandable and it seems everyone from the cast and crew are like very happy now and even at this comic con it's still great that they're showing up to these events and doing them celebrating the show even though that it was pretty tough for them they just love their characters and so that is extremely interesting but what's even more interesting is apparently the showrunner of the show Jessica Queller wanted to do season 7 and even went as far as to suggest that they did a season 7 without Kara and without Supergirl. So it would be called Supergirl, but Supergirl wouldn't be on the show. And apparently this was actually brought up to the CW and the CW rejected this idea. And so what do you guys think of that? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm really intrigued by this thought. Now, obviously they wanted the show to go on longer. That goes without a doubt. Like it's very profitable, the CW probably wanted it, but they probably didn't want it to the extent where it's called Supergirl and you wouldn't have Supergirl. Like imagine The Flash without The Flash, you know? Even if it was someone taking over for Barry's role, it's just not the same, like you can't do that. Supergirl and Melissa can go away for a couple of episodes, that's fine, like she did in season six and in the past before, and you know, they worked their way around it, but it's impossible and I'm very glad that the CW supposedly turned down this idea of doing a season seven without Supergirl. I think that would have been terrible. I think it would have been a really bad idea. And I'm very glad that we got a final season six and we got to say goodbye to our characters properly, got to say goodbye to Supergirl. She got a great ending and we didn't have a final season without Supergirl. I really don't understand why you would want to do that, you know, not have your main cast member, not have your main character. It seems a little bit desperate, like if you wanted the show to go on for so long, but then you can't have the main character, so let's just switch it up. I understand if it's a show like Legends, which has a rotating cast, if Sarah Lance went away, I think the show could continue past her leaving. However, 
when you have a show that is so centered around the show, just imagine having like Arrow without Arrow and it would be someone else. It just would not work. And that's just as simple as it is. So that's my personal opinion on the matter. And I think it's very intriguing that they actually revealed it. I don't think this tarnishes Supergirl's legacy anyway. It was just ideas that were brought up and also the fact that they said that they wanted to end the show and that Melissa wasn't down to do more. I don't think that impacts the show in any way in its history. I mean, it was pretty clear that they all wanted to end the show, that most of the important people that kind of led the show and guided the show to where it ended wanted it to kind of end because they needed a break, and that's a simple fact. And so I'm happy to see everyone from the cast and crew feeling pretty good, as far as we can see. Obviously, we don't know the ins and outs of everyone's lives, but I would say they definitely made the right call, ending it with a proper long season six, getting those 20 episodes in and not going for a season seven that would have been shorter. I think Arrow maybe would have been better if it ended on like a full final season. That's just my personal opinion. Like if the Flash goes out, I want the Flash to end with 20 or like 18 episodes minimum. That would be my ideal way for the show to go out because you get like a whole season to build towards this ending. And I think Supergirl did a very good job of ending it. And so I understand Melissa not wanting to continue the show. And like I said before, I don't think this impacts the show and kind of our memory of it. But yeah, I have to say I'm very, very shocked that they wanted to do a Supergirl without Supergirl, like an entire season. That's the one thing that kind of shocked me here out of everything, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I informed you about what went on at the event. Very sad that I actually wasn't there in person. I would have reported from the actual event, but when the next type of Comic Con happens, whether it's in London, whether it's in San Diego, I'm going to try and go and I'm sure I will see some of you guys there. I can't wait to continue making videos and I always love going to those events so I'm very bummed that I missed out on the Ultimates. But it's good to see information coming out of the event actually coming from the mouths of the cast members of Supergirl. But for now, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new so you don't miss any future videos. Also, you can join our Discord if you want to join and come chat to us. We are trying to grow the Discord right now to over 100 members. So please be sure to go over and sign up with the link in the description below. And once again, I want to remind you guys, I am currently crowdfunding a film that I'm going to be directing. The link is in the description below. If you want to support the film and support me, I would really appreciate it. And just one final note. Later this week, you're going to be seeing some videos that aren't actually from me. I'm not going to be the one speaking, but I will introduce some of the videos. And it's just as simple as I'm really busy. I'm filming all week, literally like 15 hours a day for five days in a row. I'm going to have no time. I'm going to have to try and sleep. But all the videos this week are going to be scheduled and ready for you guys. So you're not going to miss out on any content. Actually, we're going to have a lot of videos out this week. So thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video, click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, but for now, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.